Dialysis or kidney transplant? Well, this is a dilemma that patients with kidney disease have been battling for years. The cost of treatment for patients with kidney-related complications is a burden too heavy for many to bear. Dialysis alone can cost up to 14,000 shillings per session with two or three sessions a week required. Transplants, which many are now turning to, cost between a million and 1.25 million shillings without factoring the post-transplant medication. Question is, is the kidney transplant the way to go? This story was produced by our very own Ben Kirui. Take a look. For Grace Wanjiru and her son Martin Dongo, Kenyatta National Hospital has been a second home since 2015 when Martin was diagnosed with kidney failure. Their frequent trips in search of treatment have brought a lot of agony and pain to the family. The little they earn from manual jobs is not enough to cater for the cost of dialysis, which is done twice to thrice a week at a cost of about 20,000 shillings. The option of a kidney transplant provided a relief for Grace's family, but the cost of the process and the subsequent cost of post-transplant management has thrown the family into a situation of uncertainty. Since 2015, when Martin was diagnosed, the family has incurred millions and millions of shillings in managing the disease. With Grace ready to donate her kidney to a firstborn child, they are pleased to raise the needed 1.25 million shillings to proceed with the transplant. The journey to the kidney transplant that this family chose is one that has been preferred by many patients and one which is highly recommended by doctors. It is less costly compared to dialysis, conducted twice or thrice a week at a cost of over 5,000 shillings per session. This translates to nearly 1 million shillings yearly. With the transplant, 1.2 million shillings is needed, according to medics at the Kenyatta National Hospital. But it also comes with its fair share of challenges. For the last 10 years, we have transplanted 215 patients. Of these patients, around 10%, that's around like 20 patients, have come back to dialysis. And they have come back to dialysis because of kidney rejections. And they rejected their kidneys because they could not afford or they could not access post-transplant medication. Lakini pia tukumbuke kuna watu ambao hawawezi kufanyiwa transplant kwa sababu moja ama nyingine, hitha hali ya mwili ama mambo kama hayo. Considering survival and other benefits such as going back to normal life, many patients have opted to go for a new kidney other than dialysis. Kenyatta National Hospital unveiling a transplant program that helps patients with screening and sensitization on kidney transplants.